Okay, it's recording. Um, sitting here uh, preparing my medicine, so uh, you're seeing it as it happens. But uh, sorry about that. But anyway, um, just thought of something. Um, I have a terrible time dealing with people because I don't participate in, in popular culture. At least that's what I've been saying or thinking. But um, there's a way to compare it um, to, to a real situation that really actually mimics the reality of it. Um, see, most people watch television. They're, they are literally taught how to see the world in two dimensions. They, they see their interactions on the screen, the, the two-dimensional television screen. They see the interactions, they mimic those interactions, they learn social behavior. And, and any psychiatrist or, psych or any psychologist, behavioral psychologist worth his muster from another country will agree that the, in, the uh, input of media in our lives is so great, so overpowers anything else, that it can be said that we learn social behavior from television. Which means... Our lives are scripted. <laughs> you guys don't get it, do you? Um, anyway, you try to see things in two dimensions. Literally. You just look at the surface. You don't look below the surface. Behind that screen is a plasma, you know, the plasma display. There's there's a light behind that, and behind that there's there's electronics, there's a uh, image driver, processor, microchips, resistors, and lead, and copper, and all kinds of crap. You know, there's more to it. And just like there's more to me, there's more to me than, let me look in the mirror here, to then, you know, a guy with uh, losing his hair and, and, and scar, burn scar, and dog bite scars, and grain beard hair, and bloodshot eyes and angry look and whatever else you're seeing you know there's more to it there's a lot more to it there's a lifetime a lifetime of experience experiences voyages adventures trials tribulations torture pain misery joy happiness events anniversaries happenings feelings experiences disease trouble is there's so much I'm not what you see not at all no one is well of course no one's what you see when you look at me anyway sorry humor <clears throat> <laughs> I'm really scared, I'm really worried, not for myself, for you. God. Ugh. Sorry, I have this ability to see a great many things all at once, and I was seeing a lot of people's faces all at once. I have this problem where I can't figure out how to deal with the feelings that I have because of the situation that I'm in, the circumstances, the discovery I've made. I react with anger out of frustration because I'm impatient because the solution is right there. Boom. Overnight, we can fix it. And... Fuck you. And, uh, we don't. Not only do I have to deal with the problem that I know the solution to, but I'm also subservient to it 
I'm, I'm a slave to the very system I'm aware of people are a slave to. So it's doubly painful for me because, I'm sorry, ignorance is bliss. Enjoying it? <laughs> you are enjoying ignorance. Everyone is. I'm sorry. It's not meant to offend. It's just a statement of fact. And when you understand that, you will not be offended by it. And if you can find a way to not be offended by it, you can try, but probably find a way to understand it. Oh, I know. It's... You can kind of see me fading into the uh, medicated state, by the way. My uh, concentration wanes. But that's the idea, is it breaks up the anxiety. The anxiety is these multiple streams of thoughts and the tension flowing between and amongst, amongst. Yeah, hi, I'm thinking of five different things at the same time. No, I'm not crazy. Not okay, gonna have to be. I'm tired though. I'm very tired. I'm tired of being so fucking angry. I don't know how. And no, you don't know the answer. You can't know the answer of how to deal with something you don't even understand, so please stop giving me advice. God. <laughs> That's the point. No one can give me advice. I don't need advice. I need support. <laughs> I don't know how to... You know, nobody, nobody told Einstein, hey, you know, you're... You, you know the answer is E equals MC squared, dude. What what the hell are you doing all this shit for? You know, no one no one gave him advice. Not that that was good advice. You know, no one advised Newton on whether he was right or not about gravity. Um, fuck, this isn't working. I'm okay. Since I broke my own rules, fuck it. No one went and said, hey, Jesus, you know, you might want to try this, or you might want to try that, or, you know, I think your theory on, on the bread and, 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 and teaching people how to fish instead of giving them fish, I think you're wrong on that. You know, no one, no one did that. No one did that. Of course, I'm going to be anxious, but anyway, no, I don't need advice on how to deal with understanding or the emotions because of understanding something that you don't understand. So don't give advice. Give me a shoulder to cry on, or better yet, lend me an ear. If you want to help me, be curious and genuinely want to help me, want to understand what I have discovered. That is the only way you can find out I cannot articulate it. It is not possible with my brain as fucked up as it is. And that's why I just considered or thought of the idea, good, I know I'm still recording, huh, that um, it might be advisable. I don't know, I'm just considering possibilities here, but. And this is what I do. This is why it seems like I'm miss, miss Mr. Sky is Falling or whatever the fuck. is because I play out all the possible scenarios in my head, but my emotional instability because of the brain damage means I concentrate on the adverse negative emotional... Uh, whatever, I lost track. been doing this for the past month. I, th <laughs> I should be drinking green tea every day. It's a stimulant and it's antioxidants, but I can't remember to drink green tea every day. I can't even remember to drink water.
I need help so badly that I can't even communicate that I need help and how badly I need help and what I need help with and especially why I need help. I am fighting to survive. Every ounce of my energy is geared towards survival. So of course it appears that I can survive well on my own. But you need to understand, I am sacrificing more and more and important and vital things to maintain myself, to survive. I'm running out of energy. I don't know what's going to happen if I do, and I don't know how much energy I have left. I'm scared to death. But I will say this. I'm close. And I know, not believe, know that when I get out to sea, I will recharge quickly. Not fully. <laughs> not by any means. But quickly. I won't be around it. I won't have to worry about it. It won't be sapping my energy. It's... It's that... Uh, catch-22. Kind of. It's a rut. It's... You know, it's not really damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's, it's more like screwed and otherwise screwed, you know? And screwed again, because I just lost track. I am learning patience with this, with communicating my discoveries, with understanding them myself, with their success. Yes, that means I'm starting to accept that it... No, I'm not. <laughs> what am I saying? God. No, it can be done. It can be done within five years, ten years. It can be fully fixed. Forever. That quickly. Just need to be heard and believed and to see past perception of ego. Trust me, there's no ego here. I don't want this. No, I don't wish to take it, wish it was taken back, but I don't want it. I didn't ask for it, but I, f well, I don't think I'm up for the job. That's why I'm asking for help, but I accept the job. I have to. No one else can. I need a little faith that I'm not making this up. Fuck, why would I? I wish I was, though. This is a lot to handle. I should could understand that. I can't do it alone. I can survive. But I want to do more than survive. That's where I was going. At some point, I know that when I get to see, I'll recharge. And that means that I'll, I'll do a lot better. And since I'm close to being ready, I think I'll make it. But please don't accept that as an excuse to say, oh, well, he'll be fine. Because I won't be fine. I'll just be alive. And that's only a chance. chance of my senses. It's only a chance that I won't be alive. Thank you. So. 
No, I'm not in danger of dying, but I'm in danger of not living. That's almost guaranteed. I'd like to have the last few weeks of my time in America be enjoyable and spent in the company of someone pleasant to talk to and positive to be around. <laughs>